Today we're in Harrison, Arkansas, known as the most racist town in America. And we're gonna see if the locals here know anything about Asian culture. And if they do, I'll give them $100 cash. Let's go. So we're wondering if you, if you guys wanna... Win $100? Yeah. So for those of you wondering, what the hell are we doing here? Last week, we came here to see if we would experience racism as Asians. And we didn't. But that got us wondering, do these people know anything about Asian culture? Well, today, we're gonna find out. So how this is gonna work is that I'm gonna ask five questions, and if you guys can answer all five of them correctly, then I'll give you that $100 cash. All right, so we're gonna start with simple questions. Okay. What is your name? Sir? Matthew. Nathan. Nathan, nice to meet you. Scott. My name is Colton. Uh, Rick. Rick How Nowicki. My name is Sheila. I'm Gary. Gary? My this is my sister. sister. Oh, you guys are siblings? Yes. Yeah. My name is Dovey Beckford. Do Sam, Paige. Bethany. <laughs> nice to meet you, nice to meet you. How long have you guys lived in Harrison for? I've been here 35 years. I've been in Harrison my whole life. I've been in Harrison for 24 years, today. That's my birthday today. Hey, happy birthday, happy birthday. Colton. He's lived here all of his life. Yep, all my life. What do you guys know about Asian culture? Oh, not too much. Not too much? <laughs> not much. Not much? No. Uh, not that much. Not that much? Not too much. Not too much? No. Uh, a little bit. It depends on what country. China speaks so many different languages. Cantonese, Mandarin, uh, uh, what's, there's one that begins with an F that I can never remember the name of. Yes. Well, then you got Japan. They still have an emperor. Korea. Divided into two. Vietnam, great. Sp food's too spicy for me. Then you've got, you know, your Central Asians, your Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing? <laughs> Come on, that makes it so bad. I know that they, they like their martial arts and they do a lot of exercising and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I know you guys do a lot of martial art movies. Question number one, what is Boba? Huh? Is it A, a sex position, B, a country in Asia, C, a rapper, or D, a name of a drink? I'll go with the name of a drink. Yeah, type of drink. Type of drink. It's name of a country. Oh, but no, it's not a name of a country. You didn't? No. Um, I, I think it's a drink. Yeah. Yeah, it's a drink. Yeah. Have you guys had boba before? No. No, I haven't. Never? But I, I know it, it's it's a, like a lime green. Yeah? Yes. Wow, you guys are pretty pretty knowledgeable in, uh, in Asian I culture. I watch movies. Yeah? Uh, Asian movies. And I know a little bit of the language. Oh, wow. Do you, can you say something? No. Bye. Uh, Knowing that y'all are young, I'm thinking it's probably the sex. It's a drink. It's a drink. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. You are correct. Oh, I'm the dirty. Man. Country or town in Asia? Town in Asia. I'm thinking it's a type of drink. But then again, I'm also leaning to a country in Asia. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go to country in Asia. Is that your final answer? Yes. Unfortunately, it was a type of drink. Those you were so two, close. Those were my two guesses. Question number two. Which of the following is a Chinese greeting? Is it A, Konnichiwa, B, Ni Hao, C, Anya Aseyo, or D, Sawadika? It's the first one. Yeah, I think it's the first one. Can you Why no answer? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not the right answer. You greet somebody in Chinese is actually ni hao. Ni hao. So is B. I'm getting some study about this. <laughs> uh, well, I watch a lot of Chinese movies and I think it's ni hao. I'll say B. B? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Like you're saying hi to somebody? Yeah, saying hi to somebody. I know Kailan. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna go with yeah, it? Yeah, go, go with, with it. it. That is correct. Yes. You guys, you guys are almost halfway there. Okay. Question number three. Which of the following is not a K-pop group? A, BTS, B, Canto Mando, C, Blackpink, D, GOT7. Korean oh pop group. This stuff was at McDonald's the other day. <laughs> I think B. I might be too, but I'm not for sure. What do you think? Sure, B. I don't care. Okay. 
You guys are guessing your way into $100 because you got that correct. Okay. I'll go with B again. B? Cantomando? Yeah. Mando? yeah. I'll go with BPS or B whatever. Unfortunately, that is <laughs> incorrect. BTS is a K-pop group. The correct one is Canto Mando, which happens to be our YouTube channel. Yeah, so what are you waiting for? Subscribe, please. Question number four. Marvel just introduced a new Asian superhero. What is his name? A. Shang Chi. B. Rice Man. C. Brock Choi. Or D. Eat Hay. That sucks because I don't follow Marvel. I'll go with A. A. It has to be A because the others sound racist. Too no. much Marvel too. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything <gasps> about that stuff. <laughs> Okay, what was the first name again? Shang Chi, Rice Man, Rock Choi, or E K. So watch it be. Watch it be Rock Choi. Okay. Watch it be Rice Man. <laughs> there you go, be Rice Man. Yeah. What was the last one again? The last one is E K. That's familiar though, too though. That yes. is A. Sure, I don't. Like, I don't think it's A. Okay. What do you think? A or C? Go ahead, do A. Are you sure? No. Oh, not even. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. A. I'm just like, that unfortunately that is correct oh, really? we yeah. are one question away from winning a hundred dollars cash oh, God. okay question number five what's the best way to learn mandarin from cantonese the answer is the canto to mando blueprint we'll get back to the video really soon but i have a really important announcement for all cantonese speakers out there we made a program that helps cantonese speakers become conversationally fluent in mandarin in just six weeks if you don't believe me, just look at all these people who have already done it. They're new Mandarin speakers now. But first, let's start with why. Why make this program? Because not speaking Mandarin personally held me back from so much in my life. I missed out on my dream job just because I couldn't speak Mandarin. And no, lagging my resume did not help. It was tough for me to connect with my ex's family and millions of my own people. And while this was happening, everyone around me was learning Mandarin. I was constantly feeling insecure, like I was being left behind. So I tried learning with traditional methods like Chinese school and apps, but none of that ever worked. Until one day I thought, I'm a Cantonese speaker. This app and this class are designed for people with no Chinese background. Of course I'm not learning. It's not even made for me. This was a big realization. That's when I quit all that stuff and spent a year and a half learning how to leverage my Cantonese advantage to help me learn Mandarin. It wasn't easy. I wasted so much time trying to figure it out. But in the end, it was worth it because it completely changed my life for the better. Because now I use my Mandarin in a job I love, I can speak and truly connect with millions of my own people, and I no longer feel insecure and left behind as the whole world learns Mandarin. That's why I made a team of professional Chiinese tutors that compiled everything that we know into an easily digestible program called the Canto to Mando Blueprint. It uses a repeatable copy and paste method so you can learn Mandarin in the easiest and most efficient efficient way possible for Cantonese speakers. With it, you can literally speak conversation in fluent manner in just six weeks and completely change your life. Just like how it's already done that for all these other people. Basically, if you speak any Cantonese at all, doesn't matter what level, then this is for you. You go like second no wale, then this is for you. You see that link in the top description box? Hit that link because that's where you'll find out exactly how you can conversationally fluent in Mandarin in just six weeks. Now let's go back to seeing if anyone wins the money. In the Chinese zodiac, there are 12 animals. Okay. Which of the following does not belong? Okay, I think I know these. A, ones. dragon. No, that's not. B, pig. C, panda. Or D, rat. It's hard. Uh, I'm kind of cross between pig and panda. Um, oh, darn it. The rat's on there and the dragon is on there. They don't call it pig, though, they call it boar. Yeah, there's no panda. No, I haven't seen a panda. What? There's no panda. Damn. Doggone it. Have you been to have you been to Grand Fortuna? I don't Fortuna? Pay, I don't they have it on their thing. Because I'm a rabbit. Okay, go ahead. I'm, I don't pay attention. You know your zodiac signs. Yes, I do. <laughs> um you know, I'm I'm just gonna say screw it and go with panda. You're gonna go with panda? Final answer. Yeah. See? Okay, so, there's, okay there's no panda. That's the final answer? Final answer. You guys just won a hundred dollars cash. That is correct. You got all five questions right. For the culture, we're gonna give you the hundred dollars in the red pocket. So basically a red pocket is what we do on Chinese New Year. Okay. And we give money in a red pocket, so we're gonna give it to you guys in the red pocket. That's cool. Yeah. It's yours to keep. And on top of that, we are also gonna give you our merch. I got a belly, man. I'm a fat guy. 
Hey. There we go. All right, let's go, Rick. All right. Welcome to the Shanghua Gang. All right, the Shanghua Gang. <laughs> the Shanghua Gang, yeah. Remember to subscribe because in the next video, we're going to be giving out some free Chinese lessons.